Hey guys, Ben here with Digital Trigger Technologies. And today we'd like to address something that we see on a lot of forums and discussion boards. Uh, there's been a lot of comparison between our digital triggers and smart gun technology. And so I think it's really important for us to talk about the distinctions between those two things. Uh, smart gun technology is its a personalized weapon system. It's your gun recognizing you and needing permissions before it can fire. Now some of those permissions are easy enough, they're code or maybe a thumbprint, but where smart gun technology gets a little out there is external permissions. Things like uh, a police department giving you the okay to be able to fire, something like that. And so a lot of people aren't crazy about that part of smart gun technology, but what you have to realize is the digital trigger doesn't do anything like that. The digital trigger does not have a transmitter or a receiver, all right? So it can't be shut off by an outside force or controlled or anything like that. Its electronics are designed to primarily fire your weapon when you're pulling the trigger. So there's no smart gun aspect to the digital trigger. All it does is give you a secondary mode of operation that is digital. And so that's the main difference between a smart gun and our system. You can kind of think as a digital trigger is like an analog calculator. No one can hack into it or remote into it from some other location. And you can think of some smart gun technology as like a cell phone. Now your cell phone is able to be GPS tracked and somebody can technically remote into it, but digital triggers don't do that. They're a very simple system. And so that's the main difference between a digi trigger and smart gun technology. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have fun on the range.